Hi, this is Graham from Genoms Astro. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to go back to the 1970s and the 1980s. And if, like me, you were a kid back then and you had an interest in astronomy, then it's possible that you had your eye on a telescope like this. It's a 60mm f15 achromat refractor. Today we're going to have a look at this vintage refractor and decide if it's any good. Now this particular telescope was sold in the UK under the brand name of Prince and we're looking at a Prince Astral 500 model which came with an equatorial mount, three eyepieces, star diagonal, erecting prism, sun projection screen and lots of other gizmos. It certainly came in an impressively sized box. Now if you look on the label we can see that this scope it's got a 60mm objective, a focal length of 910mm giving it just over f15 which is a classic ratio for an achromat refractor and we can see the scope was made in Japan. Something of interest after that is that you see a little T in a circle. This tells us that the scope was made by a company called Tower and it's generally a good sign that the optics on this scope should be decent. These days we'd probably refer to the equatorial mount as an EQ1, so it's a pretty basic lightweight unit, but it's still quite nicely made. It came with slow motions which operate smoothly on the right ascension and a declination, although there was a limit to the amount of travel on the declination before you had to unclamp and move the scope manually. Okay, so starting at the eyepiece end, you see that the scope came with a star diagonal and came with three eyepieces and they were 0.965 inch size, the standard for the day. Looking at the focuser, it's a wrap and pinion unit. It moves quite smoothly, but you'll see quite soon that the amount of travel is relatively small, maybe only three centimetres. So in order to ensure you can always reach focus, you can slide the draw tube in and out as well. So in practice, you find a coarse focus by moving the draw tube in and out, and then a fine focus in the standard way with a focusing knob. After a while, you get used to this and it works pretty well. Okay, so the scope came with a finder scope and the same paint colour to match, quite a smart unit I think. Came with uh, adjustable mounting rings, it's a 6x30 unit and you can focus by pulling the draw tube on the finder in and out. So it's quite a nice feature, it's a small diameter objective on the finder but nothing unusual for a scope of this age. wooden tripod but you've got to check out this accessory tray. Room for lots of accessories, uh, the eyepieces are here and you can see that the scope also came with a two times barrow. But more interesting for me I think is this little unit here it comes with its own light. Put your batteries under here and you can turn the light on and off which I think is a really nice feature to allow you to find the accessories when you're out in the night time. Now for the uh, business end, so the objective is a 60mm lens, it's a two element lens, it's an acromat, and operating at the f15 ratio that this scope has, there's very little false colour and it gives very pleasing high magnification views of the moon and the brighter planets. So we haven't finished with the accessories yet. The scope came with a solar projection screen and you can attach it to the eyepiece draw tube with this rather nice clamp which is felt lined 
and then you can project the sun onto the white screen. So you fancy a bit of bird watching or other terrestrial viewing? Well, the scope came with a poro prism. So we can put that into the draw tube, put the eyepiece in the other end, and there you go. The image is turned the right way up, daytime viewing. And finally, it even came with some instructions. Nice little booklet tells you how to put the telescope together, gives you a few pointers on using the scope to find your way around the night sky. So what's not to like? I bought this scope for my kids to use, partly for nostalgic reasons. Optical performance is quite impressive, although you've got to remember that a 60mm refractor has a limit to the objects that you can see. Nonetheless, the quality is great, comes with all this kit, really nice package. The only thing I've had to buy is an adapter to allow me to use standard one and a quarter inch eyepieces. Other than that, it's a great trip into the past. Hope it's been interesting. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.